Just got back from theater practice. I'm gonna start getting ready for homecoming. I'm living the dream. It's just one of those dreams where you're losing all your tea. And if you think that it gets better, darling, take a look at me. Ooh, this is sticky. I'm in too deep. It's the same dry ramen in a bowl. I'm too lazy to clean. But I'm not drunk texting my ex anymore. Oh, my father could be proud of me. Still, I won't. It's insane, like, I used to talk a lot, but now that I've shut up recently, I get to hear all the drama. Everyone just acts like I don't exist. And it's awesome. This is actually looking, like, so cool. Recently, I've been obsessed with Spider-Man, and um, I have no clue why. I just can't stop watching it. I'm getting all stressed out over like something that like if I fuck up nobody is going to notice. I'm like practically in the shadows. Nobody at that school gives a single shit about me. What if I end up getting like banged in the bathroom and then like what if they like took a video and then I become like a p star? Like like cat from Euphoria. Why am I thinking like this? Or what if like someone gets murdered? What if like there's like an active shooter during the homecoming? Last year's homecoming, they played fucking pumped up kicks, which I really don't think is like the best thing to play at a school dance, but. For dinner, I'm having potatoes. I'm gonna change into my dress and a little bit. I just didn't want to spill like any butter on my dress because obviously. But look at the makeup. Look at it. Guess what? Guess what? Hot cocoa. I'm trying to find a way to like get up. <gasps> that did not work. That was my bad. Words cannot describe how much I don't want to go to this dance. I'm about to leave for homecoming. I arrived 20 minutes early, but there was still a long ass line to get into the doors. But once we got in, it was like very empty. But people pulled in eventually. I saw so many cool people while I was there and I even made sure to wave to the strangers in the bathroom. What absolutely shocked me is that somebody knew me from TikTok at the dance. As the night continued, I struggled with putting my money into the vending machine. It's not because my money was bad, but it's because it only accepted $1 bills. After spending ages struggling at the vending machine, I finally got my hands on a nice cold Diet Coke. Later on in the night, somebody passed out. I have a video of it, but I'm not going to share it for their own privacy. Once sleep deprivation took its effects, I went up to a random stranger and asked if he had a date. Once he replied with no, I asked him if he wanted to dance. We danced for a couple songs, and I ended up getting his number. I'm pleasantly surprised about how the dance went. And I found a random stranger's pair of keys just lying around on the ground. To reward myself for actually making it through the night without freaking out, I got myself a nice bag of Cheetos. Now that I've removed my makeup, now I can go back to my natural state of being. And that would be watching Spider-Man.